it's probably been about 11 hours now since we headed out from Ningbo. So... <laughs> Station, taking the train back to Shanghai. It's about a two hour journey. And then a um, flight from Shanghai to Guangzhou for the Canton Fair. Drone update. Didn't find the drone. To get off the plane, it's taken even longer to get the luggage. Made it to Guangzhou, got my baggage. There's about 15 million people standing in line for a taxi. Uh, no, there's a, um, there's a metro station a couple of hundred metres away from the hotel, so I think I'll find the metro here from the airport and um, use that instead. Might save a bit of time, and then it's only a shortish walk with my bags down the road to the hotel. That's the plan. to Tianhe East and uh, it's just a few hundred meters walk down to the hotel I can settle in it's been um, it's been about a nine hour journey to get here today so a bit of a mish but uh, overall pretty good One of the things about traveling in China is uh, you really just got to be ready to roll with the punches. There's usually delays. Never expect things to go 100% smoothly. You just got to have a bit of a plan and um, know what you need to do to suss out a solution. Because there's usually one there. Well, there's always one there. Sometimes it just takes a little bit of uh, looking outside the square. But generally, hey, you know, it's pretty modern compared to uh, 
treble was like here many, many years ago. So, um, can't complain really. You know, these cities are big, they're modern. Hell, they're ten times the size of Auckland, and that's just the small ones. So, uh, all up, pretty good really. And uh, here's the hotel. So that's pretty much it. A uh, bit of moving around, bit of travel, a few emails to go, and um, so it's probably been about 11 hours now since we headed out from Ningbo. So a little bit of work, a little bit of sleep, and uh, then we're ready to kick off into the Canton Fair tomorrow.